Hello, it's Sarah from Tugger. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to quickly and easily pass and use a JSON column in Power BI. Now, if you've ever pulled data into Power BI before and come across a JSON column, you might have wondered what you're meant to do with it. You wouldn't be alone. They can seem quite intimidating at first, but the good news is with a few simple steps, you can break that JSON data down into something nice and usable in your report. So whether this is your first time or if you just need a bit of a refresher, let's get started. I'll be using a table called Simpro Job, and specifically I'm going to focus on the tags data column, uh, which is stored in JSON format. But the same approach applies if you're working with other JSON columns like custom fields, additional contacts, or technicians. So here's why we don't want to pass this directly in the Simpro table job. Each job can have multiple tags. So if we try to expand the JSON data here, we could end up duplicating rows and we don't want that. So instead, we're going to create a new reference table. So to do that, just right click on the Simpro job table in the queries pane and select reference. This creates a new query that's linked to the original one. So I'm going to rename it Simpro job tags map because this table is going to store the mapping between job IDs and tag IDs. So now let's start tidying this up. So I'm just going to zoom across to the columns that I'm looking for and it's these two. So we select tags data and then control select ID and then we just right click remove other columns. So then we're just left with the two columns that we actually need. Um, as you'll notice some rows in the tags data column are empty. Power BI can't pass those so we need to filter them out. So if we click the drop down here and select remove empty then we're only left with rows that actually contain tag data. Now we're ready to pass the JSON, select the tags data column, go to the transform tab in the ribbon and click pass and JSON or alternatively you can right click in the column, uh, click transform and JSON here. After this step you'll see that each row now contains a list object we need to break that list out into individual rows. So if you see this little expand icon here in the top right, if we click that and then click expand to new rows, we're getting a bit closer. So now each row has a record in it. Next, we need to expand that record to see the data inside it. So click this expand icon again. In this case, I'm just selecting the ID field, but you can choose any fields you need. So we click OK. And now you'll see that the tag ID is listed out alongside each job ID. Again, I just need to remove any null fields, so I remove empty. And then the final tidy up that we need to do, just make sure that the new column is using the right data type. So if you click in the top left here, and then we click whole number. And that's it, your Simpro jobs tag map is ready to use. So you can now use this to create relationships or lookups between your jobs and your project tags. I hope you found this quick walkthrough helpful. If you did and you'd like to learn more, just click the link in the description for a completely free trial of Tugger. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel to see more videos like this, and we'll see you again soon.